And that's where we will start this week's show with Liverpool, the match of the week, I would say. They're taking on Arsenal at Anfield. Liverpool, they're minus 215 favorites. Arsenal coming back plus 550. The draw, 4-1. to one. It's a 12.30 p.m. kickoff Eastern time on Saturday. BJ, you're an Arsenal fan. Mikel Arteta uh, has seemingly sunk his teeth into this team. He's galvanized them. It's a lot of young players. They're coming into some pretty good form. But this Liverpool team, this, this is a pretty good matchup for them, it seems like. And it could be that perfect time to maybe sell high on uh, the Arteta hype. Is that how you're playing this one? Yeah, this is a very interesting match for a lot of reasons. First, Arsenal has been the best team in the Premier League over the last eight match days, picking up 20 points. But in those eight matches, they haven't really been tested. The, probably the best team they face throughout those matches is Leicester. Uh, they won 2 nothing, but they lost the expected goals battle. And Arsenal over those eight matches had a plus 3.97 non-penalty expected goal differential, which was fourth in the Premier League. Even their last match against Watford, yeah, they put up 1.5 expected goals and won one nothing, but half of that came off a missed penalty from Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. They had 13 shots and only created 0.7 expected goals outside of the penalty. So uh, that's not good going up against a Liverpool uh, defense that has been playing pretty well. Now, Arsenal's defense has been really good with Ben White and Gabrielle at the center back pairing. And their, their last eight matches together, they're only allowing 0.98 expected goals per match. But again, this is by far the best offense they fit, they've seen. Liverpool has consistently just shredded really good defenses. They had 7.22 expected goals in four matches against West Ham, Manchester City, and two matches against Atletico Madrid in the Champions League. And the biggest problem for Arsenal in this match is they don't press at a very high rate, which is how we've seen how you actually beat Liverpool, you know, using Brighton and West Ham as examples. Arsenal is dead last in passes per defensive action, 19th in total pressures, so Liverpool is basically going to be able to pick out whatever passes they want. This is a really bad matchup for Arsenal. The last four times they've gone to Anfield, they've lost by multiple goals. Uh, I have Liverpool's spread projected at minus 1.42. So I think there's some value on Liverpool at home at minus one and a half at plus 130. And I think uh, Arsenal's probably going to start to regress, sadly. Yeah, Arsenal, uh, only six points off the top of the table all of a sudden. Pretty wild. I will say one thing, like uh, we talked about it, or in the earlier episodes, Liverpool's schedule was very favorable to start the season. They started to play some tougher teams. Uh, they have two wins, two draws, and a loss. Uh, that loss came to West Ham. Uh, the two draws against Brighton and City, so good teams. So that's over their last five. So they're slowing down a little bit. Uh, I think I'm going to wait to see where this thing goes. I'm going to bet it, and I I would be much more inclined to betting a uh, small bet on Arsenal uh, if this number drifts. But uh, I'm not totally sure if it will because of what we've seen in the market. Uh, and the fact that Arsenal are coming in at such a high and Liverpool are coming off the loss uh, at West Ham. Anthony, do you think this thing is going to, this line is going to move towards Arsenal, away from Arsenal? Uh, and how are you betting it? Yeah, you know, Arsenal's seen a little bit of love in the market uh, here. I thought we'd get sub 200. We did not. I was disappointed. That's where I was hoping to jump in on Liverpool. I'm going to wait to see how the market moves on this one. But I think BJ mentioned the number one point here. Arsenal dead last. In passes per defensive action, Liverpool first in opponents' passes per defensive uh, action allowed. It's very hard to see how Arsenal consistently wins the ball off Liverpool here and can then, uh, you know, start counterattacks that way. They're also so used to having the ball when they play these kind of minnow sides in the Premier League and, and they've, you know, set up good possession structures and Arteta deserves credit for improving the Arsenal defense. We've seen in the past under Arteta, though, is when they play these big sides who don't let them have the ball, who press them with intense uh, with intensity and who who make them, uh, you know, rush a little bit, not have, you know, just easy, slow possession. They've struggled a lot more. You've seen that in games against Manchester City and Chelsea and, and Liverpool in the last few years. They played last year. Arsenal snuck a fluke goal and then got completely run off the pitch. The only two times that they've really managed to, uh, you know, get you know fine success has been sitting in a deep low block and then hitting a counter or two it worked against city in the fa cup semifinals back in 2019 the beginning of the arteta era and then even last year when they uh played chelsea at the end of the season they got a result similar way but they got pretty fortunate i, I just don't have a lot of faith in arsenal's defense here i know that they they played better of late but like bj mentioned the improving schedule or the easier schedule uh, gets a whole lot harder in this game. And you're going to see a Liverpool team that's going to have both Fabinho and uh, Thiago back, it looks like. So no Bobby Firmino. He's out a while. Jota fits in nicely there. Almost one goal and assist per 90 this year. 
Uh, but Fabinho and, and Thiago make a huge difference in Liverpool midfield. Yeah, one thing I'll point out is that uh, Mikel Arteta is a Pep Guardiola dis- disciple. So that means he will just switch formations at a moment's notice. Arsenal has messed around a little bit with a 4-4-2. Against Manchester City, they played a 4-5-1. So we could see Arsenal come out in something very defensive and try to play too low box and hit Liverpool on the counter. But no matter which way you look at it, it's just not a good matchup for Arsenal.